Drip Yo, what's good, man? Drip Set here, and I'm back with another video, man. Today, you know, I'm just gonna be talking to you guys again, giving advice, giving answers to questions that I usually get. So, I'm gonna just get straight into this. The question today is How do you find artists? Now, like I said, I get this question a lot and it's not that hard of a question to answer. So I think I could answer it in a pretty short time span. But basically I split it up into like two different routes to find artists. And it's basically locally and online. Now I'm gonna start with locally cause that's kind of the shorter one and the more like straightforward. You know, the online one's gonna take a little bit. And I feel like the local route isn't gonna take too long. So I'm gonna get straight into it. Now for locally, what I'm talking about is basically studio sessions, shows, and video shoots. Basically, be anywhere that an artist would be in your city. Now, this is kind of easy or hard depending on what city you live in. For instance, I'm in New York, so basically there's a lot going on every weekend over here. But if you know, you're from like Idaho, then I doubt there's anything going on in your city. But still, you should be checking around and seeing who's in your city and who's making the music that, you know, you most like. And if it's not genuine, then don't do it. Like, for instance, if you're just working with artists in your city just to do it, you know, you don't really like the music that's coming out of it, then don't do it. You're just hurting your brain. You're hurting your craft. Don't do that, man. But if you really, you know, mess with the movement and, you know, the music that you make is fire, then, you know, go ahead, you know, go to their shows, go to their video shoots, because that'll get your image in their head and then they'll think oh you know what i always see this dude so he has to be reliable so you know whenever they need a situation who are they gonna call you another reason why you should always be you know going to these local events is because physically networking with somebody is way you know way more impactful than online physically handshaking someone is more impactful than you know just complimenting him on his last ig post you know, if you're at the shows, at the video shoots, at the studio sessions, they'll see that, you know, oh, this person is really, you know, grinding. Like, I can respect that. Like, he's trying to go the same route I'm trying to go. So, you know what? I might as well work, you know, with him or give him a shot or listen to him or, you know, whatever. But still, be in someone's face so they could see who you are. For instance, like I said, I'm in New York. Whenever, you know, I'm home for the weekend. I go to the studios and I'm trying to see as many faces I can see and trying to get my, you know, name out or beats out. I'll have my beats, you know, just in the studio computer, you know, so just someone by random chance can find my name. But still, like, just doing little things like that will help you and, you know, kind of almost cement your name in certain places so that, like, no matter what, they'll think of you whenever something comes up. And that's pretty much, like, what happens is usually somebody has a situation and they need somebody and you're reliable and they go to you and that's your moment to really show them that you have to be on that level you know like you're really deserving of being on that next level now for online there's a couple little ways you could take it um the first i feel like is record label pages now what i mean by this is on instagram on youtube on twitter on the internet just in general there's a bunch of record labels with artists you know that you could try to contact and connect to there's a bunch of artists just following record label pages because they want to be signed to that record label like there's hundreds of thousands that you could check so if you get into the head of an artist and think you know oh like i'm trying to follow a record label because i want to be signed to a record label then you know go to that record label see what's going on there and i don't mean physically i mean like online like you know check their pages see their posts see who's comments see the artists in there and try to contact the people that you know once again, if you don't like their music, don't work with them. This goes for anything that I talk about because that's not genuine. You're just doing that just to do that. And you know, not saying that if an artist has one bad song with you, then you don't work with them. But if you like never like the music from the jump and you don't need the money, I don't suggest working with them. If you're like, if you really need the money, you need stable income, work with them. I'm not stopping your hustle. Do what you gotta do. But brand wise, you don't want to make music with people that you that you don't think have good music because you know later along the line when people search your name up if all they hear is bad music they're, they're just gonna think you make bad beats and that's never a thing you want stuck to your name especially on the internet where people could always just look stuff up now another page you should be looking at is studio pages now what i mean by that is basically in today's day and age like most studios have some sort of social media whether it's like 
Instagram or um, they have like a website or they have like a Twitter, they have something. So you should be A, looking at who they promote, the artists they promote, the artists they show, B, the artists who follow them. And then you take what I said from before and just work with the artists that you really think have great music. You'll make way more connections. You'll find people more. You'll get your name out more. There'll be more things produced by you. And that's, that's all you want to get your name out, basically. You want people to constantly see produced by your name so they remember that. Now, one thing that we producers don't show enough attention to is engineers. When you think about it, bro, engineers are basically like our best friends. Like, they do basically what we do. Like, they're in a lot of the same situations that we are in. You know, they're trying to come up in music. They're trying to do what we're doing. They're not an artist. They're, you know, they're laid back. They're in a cut like we are. You should be, you know, just, just networking with them. You should be just networking with them. Like, just make more friends with engineers. You know, they're just so reliable. Like, and the thing is, they could put you in situations that you wouldn't even see. Like, for instance, I have a friend from my hometown that's an engineer. And, like, whenever I'm back home or just in general, he's like, yo, Drip, I'm going to be in the studio. The artist is coming through. I want to have beats, send beats. And, you know, that's always something you want to have. Because at first, I never thought that could happen. I wasn't thinking like that. But, you know, it's a great thing to have. He's an actual friend, and for a friend to do that, you know, like that's 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 valid. So you should be always having those connections and just friending engineers. They'll put you in positions to meet more artists. Now, a little quick tip before I go: basically, you know, use hashtags. Like, you might think that hashtags are dead, but everybody's using hashtags, especially artists. So if you know, go to like hashtag new artists, you'll find a whole bunch of new artists. And if you apply what I said before, work with the people that you think make good music, you'll make more music and you'll meet more artists. I'm telling you, it works. So just, you know, do that. Please do that. If you apply what I said with like the local route and the online route, you'll find way more artists. I'm, I'm telling you, they're out there. You know, there's new artists every day that want to work. So if you put in the effort and show your face and, you know, contact the people that follow the people, you know, things like that, you'll rack up a whole list of artists that you're working with and you'll get way more connections in the game. I'm telling you, it works. It always has and it always will. So if you do that, I'm telling you, you'll work with more artists. You'll make more songs. You'll get your name out there. Now, if you like this, found it educational, found it entertaining, let me know, like it up, comment, all that good stuff. You know, if you want to see another, um, if you have a question to ask me, just ask me and I'll probably make a video about it. You know, like these are really quick to make. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, man. I'm about to be out. Stay cooking, stay dripping.